Alright, greetings. Skippy with On The Fly Photography yet again. Going to show you another neat little Lightroom trick. This one is the tree exporter. Now, when I organize my photos, here's an example of this shoot right here. I have a directory for everything. So first of all, you can see that this is on my V drive and it's in a folder called Lightroom Images because that's popping up. Well, when it pops up, now it's not going to pop up, of course. So okay, there we go. And it's in 2011 slash 12 for the year and the month. So there's my month right there. And then this is the 07 is the day and then the title of the shoot. This is Brittany at Bablu. And then I have assorted subfolders below that. And just, as you can see, there's a few photos I've posted in each one. But if I want to export all of the photographs I've post-processed, so I can come over here and I can hit Control A, and then I can do an export, but it's going to dump all of those photos, as you know if you use Lightroom, into one folder. Now maybe, and in my case it's not a maybe, I don't, I don't want that. I want to maintain the subfolder hierarchy of scene one, scene two, scene three, blah blah blah. There is a plugin that allows you to do this. It is from Photographer's Toolbox. It's called Lightroom slash Tree Exporter. I believe it's I believe it works a while when you first get it for free, something. There's some limitation. Anyhow, yeah, you do have to donate in order to unlock full functionality. You don't have to donate a whole lot. It's totally worth it, as you will see, if this is what you need to do. So I want to export these photos, and I want to maintain the tree. So I'm going to hit Control-Shift-E, bring up my export dialog. I have some presets set up over here. I'm going to use my Disk for Models tree full set and go and click on that. Now, so when you're doing this for the first time, export to, out of your options, you're going to see an option for Lightroom slash tree exporter. That's what you want to hit. Here's your options right here. Put it in, choose your destination folder, put it in a subfolder, and let me skip down real quick. The rest of this is pretty typical. You're going to know what all this is. File naming, standard stuff. Video, standard stuff, file settings, standard stuff, image size, output sharpening, metadata, watermarking. All of that is just like in any other export you're doing in Lightroom. So here's a different part is where you're talking about, oh, and the right here, options, existing files. Again, you've got the same stuff that you're always going to have. The important part is sitting your folder hierarchy. And this is a little confusing the first time if you don't quite understand what's going on here. So first right here it's showing you your full hierarchy to the files. So again I'm in I'm on the V drive, Lightroom Images, 2011 for the year, 12 for the month, 07 is the day, Brittany of Bob Blue is the shoot, and then my other folders are of course going to be underneath that. So when you're exporting it's going to show you here example results. It's showing me right here that this file is going to be exported to this path. It's going to be D, Disk for Models, a full set, scene one. D, Disk for Models, a full set, scene two. Okay, I want the 07 Brittany in there. So I'm going to, so if we go in our options right here, and this is what it seems sort of counterintuitive. The longest one at the top is giving you the shortest hierarchy when you actually export. So if I click that, it's going to go to D, Disk for Models, a full set, 07, Brittany at Bablu, scene 01. Now if I come down here and I click the shortest one, it's going to go into D, Disk for Models, a full set, Lightroom Images, 2011, 12, 07. I don't need that much information. Say I did want to export it with the year information, I click that one. Now it's going into Disk for Models, a full set, 2011, 12, 07, Brittany, blah, blah, blah. All I need, however, is two levels of folders. I need the scenes, and then I need the date and title of the shoot. And then you come down, you hit export, and it's going to go. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to make you suffer through waiting for all these to export. I've already exported, and here you can see I am on my D drive in my folder Disk for Models in a folder called a full set. And in here I've got 07 Brittany at Bob Blue. And if we go in there, we'll see there's my scenes. And I can look into each of these folders. And the photos from that folder are in that folder. And of course, if you don't have 
any photos selected from a folder that folder is just going to be skipped there you go you can export your folders export your files rather export your photographs keep your folder hierarchy very very handy if that's something you need to do great plugin totally worth it link will be below thanks very much y'all have fun bye bye